With the most recent release of Crown Zenith, we now have three Friends in Insert Region full art cards. But there is a fourth that we are missing, and that is a Japanese exclusive Friends in Alola. Will English ever get this card? So I'm not talking about the basic Friends in whatever card. I'm specifically talking about the full art cards. The collectible ones, the hard to pull ones, the one that everybody wants. The Friends in Galar was the first ever full art Friends in whatever card that we got. And that came in Silver Tempest. More specifically, the Trainer Gallery section set. And that card currently goes for $17.80 on TCG Player. With Crown Zenith coming out, we now have two more to add to that style. We have the Friends in Sinnoh full art, and that currently goes for $14.39. And then we also have the Friends in Hasui card that goes for $13.78. But unfortunately, still no Friends in Alola. So where did it come from? Well, at the end of 2019, the Pokemon Center put out its final farewell product, to close out the Sun and Moon era. This product was an exclusive Japanese Pokemon Center set, and it was called the Limited, Limited Collection Master Battle Set. That's a mouthful. And it retailed for $113. Now, at the time, if you did not live in Japan, because this was exclusive to Japan, then you would have to spend probably around 200 to 300 bucks on a proxy site just to get your hands on this product. And as of today, 2023, if you're looking to get your hands on this set, you're looking at about $300 and that does not include the two promo cards that come with it. If you're looking to get the full thing sealed, you're looking at close to $2,700 and over 4,000. That's the range that they go for on eBay. Ridiculous. So what did the box come with? Well, it came with a bunch of premium miscellaneous shit. You're talking about like deck boxes, a, a pen for some weird reason, a bunch of hidden markers, dice, all metal and shiny. Stuff you'd get in the more premium products nowadays. Uh, I think it came with a play mat and some other shit. You can look up what it comes with online um i might have some pictures but anyways the main selling point for this product was it came with two promo cards that was the biggest thing the first card being the pikachu promo card now this pikachu card would go for 70 dollars when the set first came out if you did not have this set on ebay on tcg player this card would go for around 70 dollars now this card goes for close to $900. And this was only four years ago. 2019, this set came out. So in four years, this card, this Pikachu promo card, went from $70 to $900. And that's not even the most expensive one. Wait till you hear this one. The second card, Friends in Alola, at the time was worth 115 bucks. That's how much people wanted it. So those two cards alone basically paid for the whole entire box and then some. What does that card go for now? Two to four thousand dollars. And there's only a few listings on eBay for that card. It's pretty rare. So four thousand dollars for the Alola card, nine hundred dollars for the Pikachu card five grand for this product now you can see why buying this brand new basically goes for five thousand dollars it's just insane so with the release of all these friends in insert region whatever cards coming out you, you know are we gonna see this friends in a lolo card come to english well unfortunately it really wouldn't make sense but there's still hope now, the reason it wouldn't make sense is we're already two generations past Sun and Moon, which is kind of sad. You know, we're done with the X and Y era, which I think that was before. So never mind. I'm just speaking out of my ass. We're done with the Sword and Shield era, which came out after Sun and Moon. I think I got the timeline right. All right. So we're done with Sword and Shield. It's over. And now we're going into Scarlet and Violet. So a promo card, Friends of Lola, specific to... The Sun and Moon era would be kind of weird to just randomly come out 
in Scarlet and Violet, it just it wouldn't really make sense. But there is hope because we recently got the Friends and Sinnoh card. And I that's like from Diamond and Pearl, which is like generations behind. So it was kind of random getting Friends and Sinnoh. So who knows? Maybe we'll get Friends and Alola because of that. You know, they could just randomly put it out as a special premium product. They you get that card again. But, you know, unless Japan is very fucking selfish, you know, which they kind of are. No offense, Japan. You know, we might not see this card. They specifically, you know, made this card for Japan. And if that's the case, that's going to really be sad. Because Friends in Alola is such a gorgeous card. The other slight thing I could think of was when the Pokemon Company released the remake of Diamond and Pearl. I think they called it Brilliant Diamond and... Uh, something pearl i i don't care it was a remake of the game and i have the original so i'm not going to play the remake but anyways maybe the friends in Sinnoh was a card that got released because of that remake but again that card came out two years ago in 2021 that game i, I don't know if i said game or card anyways so maybe that's the reason that we got friends in Sinnoh full art but that's kind of a stretch to be honest now, what would really be cool is if the Pokemon Center released the Friends in Blank for every region. So you have a Kanto one, a Friends in Kanto, a Friends in Hoenn, a Friends in Johto, Friends in etc, etc. You know, those would be really cool. And then you would have like a full set of them, of Friends in every region. Now, the thing is, if they do do this, which I think would be pretty cool and smart by Pokemon, you know, why would they not have Friends in Alola? So if they do do this, there is a chance that they will release Friends in Alola to English. Yeah, it is a stretch, you know, and, you know, who knows? Maybe they'll just be like, oh, you want the full collection? Get it in Japanese, loser. I don't know. But it is really sad and something to think about. I don't think a lot of people talk about this Friends in Alola full art card because it's just so, it's so, like, rare that, like, it just came out in one set in Japanese and not too many people, like know about it or i think think about it but it's such a gorgeous card and it holds so much value at least the japanese version does i bet if it comes out in english it'll be like 10 15 bucks it's no matter what it's still gorgeous i i love the friends in blah 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 cards they're so nice and it'll just be so upsetting if it never comes out in english